work in movement dance. Um, I do uh, I combine it with aerial and text and voice work as well. I trained originally as a singer. When I left university, um, I could not find out how you actually worked in the business as a classical singer. I had this idea at the back of my mind that I certainly wanted uh, to do something that contributed to the notion that people with impairments could consider the arts as a, a viable career. It's not a therapy and it's not a leisure act. It doesn't need to be seen in this term because quite often the arts in, in line with people with, with disability is, is construed as being therapeutic only. I fell in with a company called Sounds of Progress, who are a music theatre company based in Glasgow, who were a music training company as well as producing theatre, uh, and they worked specifically to train people with um, learning and physical impairments to become musicians. So I toured with them uh, as a singer in that, in that production and then got a job with them um, on a part-time basis as an arts administration kind of assistant. At the end of the day, all I wanted to do was was work purely as a performer, was to try and exist only doing that and not having to do administration to, to pay the mortgage as well. Um, and I began to think that I needed to just expand my skills and be more employable as a performer. I applied and got onto a course which the BBC ran when they were trying to address the fact that they didn't have enough disabled actors on television. So um, I, got a, I got a role in that and got some training in drama with them. Um, the other kind of notion that I've had was because I've used crutches since I was 14, because I have a, a physical impairment, I have a lot of upper body strength. And, um, and I'd always hated it. It, was, it seemed like this very rather unfeminine kind of attribute. And um, I began to kind of recognise that this was something that it was, the, that upper body strength was there, whether I liked it or not. And then I began to think, could I actually use it? Could I actually use this to, uh, yeah, to, to earn money, to, to be very blunt about it? Could I, could I make use of it? And, um, and thought about aerial work by some kind of coincidences. I met somebody who worked as an aerial performer again and who offered to give me some one-to-one -one training. I gained some uh, skills in working on silks and a little bit of rope and met an American choreographer called Jess Curtis who introduced me to a dance form called contact improvisation which is a way of moving that you use your own physicality and and gradually in the making of that piece, this uh, Jess really changed my mind about what was possible. Now I earn a living purely working as a performer, uh, and in the last two years I started to make my own work, which was something I never intended to do, but it just naturally began to evolve. So now, now I get called a choreographer, which seems very strange. <laughs>